Welcome to the tutorial. There are two ways how lighting presets and HDRI backgrounds can supercharge your design workflow. First, you can finish and get approval for your concept ideas faster if you use quality lighting effects. Second, by adding real images, and the background opens up a new way to reuse the model for marketing purposes. Let's start. When you open a new project, the first thing you'll see is a splash screen. Here you have several options. You can create a blank project, import file, or choose from scene presets. Scene presets offer different lighting and environment setups ranging from basic one light studio setup to indoor and outdoor environments. Let's select a three light setup. First drag and drop files onto the canvas to import the object. Then click on the preset description. In this panel, you can view the scene settings, light setup, and effects used in the preset. The drop-down menu provides three size variants, each with different light positioning and intensity, allowing you to choose the one that best fits your object. For our object, the 100 centimeters variant works best. Now, open a preset group. Inside, you'll find a placeholder object. This object serves as a safe zone for your actual object, but we won't be using it in the future, so feel free to hide or delete it. Next, open the preview mode. Here you can see that the light setup is already well suited for our needs, and we can use these presets without making any adjustments. To change the camera view, Go to the project panel, select the camera, and unlock it. The camera's pivot point is located in the middle of the placeholder object. You can freely change the angle and zoom in or out. Once you're satisfied, it's best to lock the camera to avoid losing its position. All the lights used in the scene are grouped in the lights folder. You can select each light individually and adjust its intensity, enable or disable shadows, and even change its color. If you select a group, you can easily rotate the lights around the object to achieve different lighting effects. All the studio presets use a white flat HDRI. If you wish to change it, you can. Go to the environments menu. Choose between studio and outdoor HDRI. The HDRI also provides atmospheric lighting for the scene. The effects have already been added to the scene, but feel free to adjust them as needed. The presets also include outdoor and indoor setups. These work the same way as the studio setups, but only offer one size variant as they are intended for larger objects. In the next section, we will explain how to add and set up any HDRI in your projects. Let's start with the Studio preset, since it already has the appropriate light setup and necessary effects. Import the object into the scene. Then, adjust the variance to fit your desired view. Add an HDRI from the environment's library. Open the background settings and choose the environment from the drop-down menu. By default, the blur is enabled, but you can disable it if you prefer. Use the preview mode to inspect the changes. If you want to use your own HDRI, you can upload it by going to the environment menu where you'll find an option to upload an HDR or EXR file. The HDRI we'll be using is from polyhaven.com. Keep in mind that HDRI size increases significantly with resolution. We recommend using an HDRI with a maximum resolution of 2K. Next step is to upload the HDRI. In the environment settings, you can adjust parameters such as intensity, rotation, and saturation.
If the HDRI you imported is of high resolution, you can reduce it using the resolution drop-down menu. In the background menu, enable the ground projection. This option projects the HDRI onto the ground plane, creating the illusion that your object is placed within the environment. Adjust the size of the projection to best fit your object. Use the preview mode to check the outcome. If the scene appears too dark, increase the intensity of the environment. Additionally, you can adjust the intensity and color of the key light to achieve a better blend with the environment. Repeat the same adjustments for the fill light. To display the ground shadow, enable the ground plane. Since the resolution of the HDRI projected on the ground might be low, we'll add a separate plane with its own texture and blend it with the environment. Add a plane and increase its size. Slightly reposition the plane on the Z-axis to avoid overlapping with the ground plane. Next, search for the concrete material in the material library. To enhance the details on the plane, increase the tiling of the color map, roughness map, and normal map textures. In the next step, we'll blend it with the environment using Opacity setting. Click on the Opacity map and choose Radial from the drop-down menu. Set the outer color to black. The grayscale values represent the opacity where black means completely transparent and white is fully opaque. To further enhance the blending, add an overlay effect to the color map texture. Select a color and adjust the saturation and brightness settings. Great, it's looking good. In the final step, let's clean up the project. Remove the placeholder object, other two size variants, and preset description from the project properties. Slightly adjust the camera angle for a better view. The project is ready. You can even add interactions and animations to really showcase the functionality or to hand over to marketing for any additional product displays.